So I'm with uh, Jade from Theatre Box Performing Arts Academy. And uh, first of all, Jade, Jade, congratulations on your award. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Uh, can you uh, just tell us a little bit more about the Academy? Yes, so Theatre Box Performing Arts Academy is an accessible academy that is based in Erith. And the aim of our school really is just to give as many people as possible the opportunity to flourish in themselves and also learning the transferable skills that I strongly believe the performing arts teaches. And uh, you mentioned accessibility at, at the start there. Why is that such an important element uh, of what you do? Because I think that performing arts is so underfunded, so quite often many children and families and adults just are not able to access it. Um, and I think particularly after COVID, we all saw as a community um, and as a country really, the impact that it had on our social skills and our ability to public speak and communicate and just those things that you take for granted. And we've seen at Theatre Box a massive influx in people coming and coming to our classes and getting involved. And I think that's because they're, they're aware of what those skills are. And even if you don't want to be a famous pop star, you do want to be able to go into an interview and be able to speak confidently and get your point across and not feel a bag of nerves. Or if you do feel a bag of nerves <laughs> on the outside, <laughs> make it look like you don't. So I think that... Um, just being able to give children and adults a chance to shine and a chance to have some fun and learn skills that they don't even realise they're learning really, um, but skills that will set them up for life. So that's why it's so important for us and that's always been the aim of what we do and why we do it. And uh, another uh, part of uh, building up those skills and confidence in many ways as well is the, uh, the, the chance to put those skills on a live stage as well. So whether the people want to do that, take it up seriously as a profession, these yeah. uh, these. Uh, children or they just love it and um, you give them the opportunities to do that don't you that's correct yeah so we perform really regularly and we've always got something happening we like to go out about 10 or 11 times a year we do an annual showcase which is a variety show mm -hmm. this year was the first year that we had our adults choir in the variety show so that was really exciting the kids got to perform alongside them um, and we do teach classes a, a variety of dance classes drama musical theatre and singing so our variety show is a chance for the children to really and adults sorry um, <laughs> is a chance for them to really showcase what they've learned that year and then the rest of the performances that we do are public performances that we get booked for so we're really lucky to have built um, a clientele of people that want us to come back so okay. it means we must be doing something right which okay. is fantastic um, and it's about getting people out on a live theatre stage you know and, and putting them in scenarios that they wouldn't usually be in okay. and I think we've realised particularly with the adults this year um, how much fun they've had doing that and yeah. that they actually wouldn't get the chance to do that if they were not in with Theatre Box um, and, and kind of being a part of our little family that we've grown, that we're really proud of. We're very community focused, you know, we give back a lot to the community yeah. and they do do a lot for us too. So I think it's just a really nice base. So if anyone listening <laughs> is near Erith, <laughs> hit us up. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and finally, there's, uh, you are sort of expanding as well. You're starting are, to yes. bring schools into the mix as well. Why is that so important? I think it's so important to bring schools into the mix because, again, funding is a huge, a huge issue. So lots of these schools are massively underfunded um, and the performing arts is probably one of the first things that was cut and, and will be cut when schools are looking at their kind of budgets for the year. And so I've made it a massive um, priority of mine for the last year to really focus on schools because even though we try to be really um, affordable, we do still have to charge for our classes, right? Mm. So you still have children that you are missing um, and that can't really be helped. Mm. But my way of trying to bridge that gap and get everybody involved is to get into schools because it's then free for these children to access. And we've seen that schools have really responded positively to yeah. the work that we do and the impact that that has on the children. Um, and yeah, so it's, we, we are planning to keep expanding on that and bring in our birthday parties because that's the thing now. Kids want mm -hmm. to make music videos and stuff at their parties. Okay. So yeah, we're bringing that in. <laughs> um, but yeah, the schools is a really big thing. I'm really passionate about it. And we've just brought on an SEN school, um, which again is just a really big win for us. So we're very excited about that and looking forward to the future. Well, congratulations on your award. Thank you and, so much. And uh, it all sounds like it's going really well. And it's going to keep yeah. going well. And oh. uh, thanks very much for taking time to speak to us today. No fab. Thank you so much for giving me the award. I really appreciate it.